Good afternoon, my dear students. Today I will deliver to you lecture about urinary system. Components of the urinary system include kidneys and the urinary tract. In general, kidneys are Fahrenheim organs and urinary tract include only hollow tubula organ. Kidneys. The spheres being shaped retroperitoneal organs are located in the posterior wall of the abdominal cavity. So on this picture you can see position of kidney. Uh, in upper part of kidney present a uh, subrenal endocrine gland. You can see here on this picture. In general, kidney shows a dark stain in outer cortex and a light stain in inner medulla, and that partly surrounds of the renal helium. Each human kidney consists of several pyramid-shaped subunit renal lobes, whose base lie in the cortex and whose Episcal part lie in the medulla. Each lobe consists of numerous renal lobules, each contains hundreds of neutrons. In general, neutron is a structure and functional unit of the kidney. Each neutron includes a renal. Renal corpuscle includes renal corpuscle, a proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Hanley, and a distal convoluted tubule. Renal corpuscle forms special blood filtrating unit of the neutron, consists of glomerulus covered by Bowman capsule. Together with Bowman capsule, with a basal membrane, Bowman capsule form special filtration barrier. Numerous include penetrated capillary, and Bowman capsule between. Penetrated capsule and Bowman capsule present some smooth muscle cells, modified smooth muscle cells, mesangial cells. In capsule, very important part and form from two layers of cells. Inner layer or inner wall or visceral layer consists of special cells, podocytes. Each cell has some long primary processes from every processes primary formed foods of processes, pedicles, and its foods of processes formed from secondary processes. Food processes joined with capillaries like finger around a broom handle and form and cover of basal lamina. Basal lamina lie between endothelial cells of capillar and photocytes. Outer wall, the parietal layer is simple, mammals epithelium. On this picture, you can see position of photocytes, basal membrane, and endothelium. Endothelium, penetrated endothelium, because its capilla is penetrated. Next, basal membrane, blue color on its, its picture, very thick structure. And then after, basal membrane covered by podocytes. Podocytes, one single podocyte has primary process 
here you can see on its picture. From primary process form some secondary processes or pedicles. Pedicles will be joined with basal membrane and together with endothelium basal membrane form special filtration medium. This electron micrograph it shows the position of podocytes, thick basal membrane and endothelial cells. Through a show to you process of filtration between a uh, filter form between a capillar or cavity of capillar and podocytes in general between cavity of capillar and cavity of foam and It's very good. Can show the position and location of podocytes. Single podocyte may be joined with some capillars and form filtration barrier between some capillars. On its plate, you can see a composition of filtration barrier. Diagram co covered by capillary fenestrations. Uh, next, uh, basal lamina. Basal lamina very interesting. Basal lamina of capillar uh, and podocytes form basal membrane. Its basal lamina very thick, formed by three main layers. Outer and inner light staining and middle part is a height staining or dark staining structure. Next. Podocytes. Here you can see a composition of um, Bowman capsula and capillars and uh, location of some elements uh, glomeruli. Here you can see all the layer of Bowman capsule, which uh, was covered by simple vamose epithelium. Inner part of Bowman capsule include single vamose epithelium too, but its epithelium uh, formed by podocytes. Next. It's a special capillars, fenestrated capillar. And here you can see cavity between two layers, inner layer of Bowman capsule and outer layer of Bowman capsule. Process of filtration to start from capillar, cavity of capillar, and finally primary urine formed and in goes to urinary pole to proximal convoluted tubule. Proximal convoluted tubule, next part of the nephron. Proximal convoluted tubule to start begins at the urinary pole of the renal corpuscle. And lining is simple low columnar or cucuboidal epithelium. Every cell has on apical part microvilli and in basal part present special basal striation. The lining cells absorb about 85% of the sodium from the filtrate and water follows passively, reducing the amount of filtrate by amount 25%. All glycose, amino acid, acetoacetate, and vitamins are reabsorbed by facilitated transport and small proteins are reabsorbed by pinocytosis. Its process present in proximal convoluted tube. Very interesting, between basal striation present many mitochondria 
it's a very important part of cell which provides process of reabsorption sodium potassium. Next part of nitro has name the loop of Henley. Why we have its name? Because loop of Henley has V or U shaped epithelial tube. Includes thick thick and thin descending limbs and thin and thick ascending limbs and include covered by simple squamous epithelium. Next part, this is convoluted tube. This final segment of neutron lies in the cortex. Include low cuboidal with not brush body and but in basal part present basal striation. In some neutrons, it's a near 10%. In distal convoluted tubule, present cells of macula densa. And it's a very important cell, the important part of yuxta glomerular apparatus. In kidney, present two types of neutrons cortical and yuxta medullary. Near 80% in kidney are cortical neutron. And it's a very important type of neutron, cortical neutron, which provides process of filtration and formation of primary line. The extramedullary neutrons are very important to form process regulation of blood pressure in kidney and very important to regulation of osmotic gradient in the medulla. On its picture very nice visible composition of kidney. In upper part of picture you can see process formation of a kidney and in finally after pro embryonic development very good visible some medullary pyramids it's uh, near from 8 to 12 in parenchyma of kidney and medullary rays In central part of its picture present composition of neutron, you can see renal corpus called proximal convoluted tubule, thick descending limb, loop of Henley, thick ascending limb, and thin limb in loop of Henley. Next distal convoluted tube which joined with connecting collecting dust. Cortical neutron will be present in more in cortex and uh, loop of candy will be present in medulla part. But in yuxta medulla neutron lie in border between cortex and medulla, renal corpuscle and proximal convoluted tubule will be present in border between cortex and medulla. On this picture very uh, good visible differences between epithelial cells in some parts of neutron. 
in proximal convoluted she will, will be present columnar cells with crush body, microvilli present more, microvilli present in apical part of cell, on basal part of cell present in folds of plasma membrane but between in folds more mitochondria. In distal convoluted tubule sim similar cell but without microvilli in apical part. In loop of Henley, in thin limb, will be present for most epithelial cell. And in collecting duct, will be present cuboidal and columnar epithelial cell. One important part of this lecture is the blood supply in kidney. Because kidney is blood filtrating organ, very important blood supply. Pair of renal arteries, one to each kidney, range from the aorta in the upper abdomen. Each artery undergo successfully branch to the specialized capillary bed in both the cortex, glomeruli, and peritubular capillaries, and medulla vasa rectum. Always in process of blood supply, arteries are accompanied by similar name vein. Interlobar artery arises from the anterior and posterior branch in the renal helium and penetrates the medulla between the medullary pyramid. Arcade arteries arise from the interlobar arteries and course along the border between the cortex and medulla. Interlobular arteries penetrate the cortex between the medullary rays and lie at the border between neighboring renal lobules. Many afferent arterioles arise from the each interlobular artery. Each afferent arteriole supplies the glomeruli. And afferent arteriole carries blood away from the glomeruli. Different arteries of cortical nutrient will be continued to peritubular capilla and provide absorption process and will be cover of proximal and distal tubules and then uh, very important to and form then goes to inner lobular vein. Efferent arterioles of yuxta medullary neutrons will be formed very straight capillary loops vasa recta, then descend into the medulla. Vasa recta arise mainly from the efferent arterioles of the yuxta medullary neutrons. Some may arise from the alcoate arteries. Here on this picture you can see different types of blood vessels and location of blood vessels in process of blood supply of kidney. Okay, alcoate artery and vein lie near one by one. Location is the on body between cortex and medulla. Will be continued to interlobular artery and vein, artery and vein. Then will be continued to afferent arteriole, which will be goes to uh, Bowman capsule and form glomeruli. More loops of capillaries, penetrated capillaries will be after glomerulus will be joined and form efferent arterioles. And then a 
referent arterial will be go to interlobular vein. Very interesting. After efferent arteriole and between interlobular vein and efferent arteriole, present peritubular capillary plexus, which will be covered of proximal and distal convoluted tubes and leukocamera. <clears throat> Very important function of the capilla and helps to reabsorption process.